have the three I'm weeks to do 70 different jobs and got no's from all of them which is why I is this true it's hard to believe for in a Blow my mind. Would work us as one who is still looking for a country to relocate to i mean the best country to relocate to i mean i've been looking at german content for a while and it feels like german is calling my name so i really need to see this video to decide which country i'm going to the title of this video is working in germany versus america so let's get right into this one guys Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American. Quit his job, packed his bag down to two suitcases, sold everything else, and moved Ooh. to Germany. I've now been working in Germany for six months. I want to give you guys my experience, my takeaways so far, working in Germany compared to working in America. I'll start with what I consider okay. the negative things about working in Germany. So first and foremost, I talked about this a lot in some of my other videos, but I get paid substantially less here. So why do you want to tell us about the negative things first? Like, I'm supposed to be hearing all the good things to make me feel like, okay, it's not a bad idea, but he's about to scare me out. <laughs> ...here than I did in America. And that's due to a number of reasons. Number one, I'm not using my education or previous work experience from America in my current job. I have a very, very low level manual labor job here. In America, I was working in tech and government jobs, which generally pay better than entry level manual labor jobs, regardless of what country you're in. I've been trying to land a job yeah, using actually, my I, I, I agree to that. using my education, but it's difficult because of my German skills. There are opportunities out there, but obviously it's very competitive. And let's face it, I'm kind of dumb, so it makes it pretty hard for me to find a good job. Now, I have stopped looking for the past few months. We've had so much other stuff going on. I haven't had enough time to really devote to applying to a lot of new jobs. And honestly, the job that I have now isn't so bad, so it just wasn't a priority. Otherwise, I feel like I would have probably found something by now if I really put my head down for all these months and was continuously looking the whole time. Because there are these jobs out there, I just haven't really been looking. That being said, when I first moved here, the first three months that I lived here, I applied to about 70 different jobs and got no's from all of them, which is why I have this job now. I needed a job to get my work visa so that I could stay here. What? One thing led to another. Now I have this job that I'm currently in. 70! This job doesn't pay as much as my job in America, and I will say, in general, it seems like jobs in Germany pay a bit less than, in general, the same job in America. But there are a lot of benefits that I've found so far working in Germany. And really, pay is the only negative about the jobs that I've seen in Germany so far. And that's not to say that the pay is bad, it's just a little bit less than America. However, there are a lot of very nice benefits about working in Germany that aren't very common in America and are very common in Germany. So I'd rather lay out some of the benefits of my job in Germany and you guys can decide for yourself, would you rather work in America or would you rather work in Germany? So into the positives of my job in Germany. To start off, I work in essentially a warehouse, entry-level, physical labor type of job. I make roughly twelve fifty an hour, which in my experience is pretty good for these types of jobs. I haven't had a manual labor type of job like this for almost probably 10 years since I was in school still. I've always had office jobs since graduating from university. And back then, this would be a pretty good starting hourly rate. I don't know what the standard would be now, but it's not so bad for what the job is. I work 40 hours a week, nine hours a day, Monday through Thursday, with one hour of breaks on top of that, and then half days on Friday. I'm out at noon, and then I have like a two and a half day weekend, I guess. So that's kind of cool. I also have health care, which is great. You need to have health care by law in Germany. This is something that I definitely wouldn't have had at this type of job in America. The jobs that I did have in America before coming to Germany, I had health care paid for through my employer. But for most entry-level manual labor type of jobs that I'm doing now, in America, this is probably not a very common thing. Definitely a plus for Germany. I also get three weeks of paid vacation leave every year. Now that is unheard of for a job of this level in America. I had a few I know jobs coming out of university in America, decently paying. Say people. no more, bro. Say no more. Like the benefits outweighs the price. That's the most beautiful thing about any job for me personally. It's good to have a good pay, but outside the good pay, I want to see and I want to know the benefits that comes with the job. And this ticks the box for me. Like, keep the pricing, the salary one side, and let me know what other things I have on my table that I'm going to be enjoying from this job.
from this job and i think they already took the bus what do you think guys keep it coming in my comment section as we continue watching this video fit office jobs and i don't think i got three weeks paid leave i also here in germany get unlimited sick days within reason obviously this is also unheard of in america at most yes places. most places in america you have a set amount of sick days that you can have per year here in germany even at my crappy job i get unlimited sick days obviously if it looks like you're abusing it then maybe you'll have Ooh. some problems but if you go to the doctor and get checked out and they say that you need a week or two weeks or however long to rest you get the doctor's note you bring it into work there's nothing they can do about it so you have the three Are weeks you you have the unlimited sick days. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Is this guy being serious? Like, guys, help me out. I want to know, is this guy, is this, is this true? It's hard to believe. Like, all these benefits are way out of this world. You can't get this anywhere else. Like, what? There are a bunch of national holidays in Germany where we have off as well. So again, even at my crappy entry level manual labor job, which in America, you normally don't get these types of benefits at. Even with that kind of job, we have national holidays where we have off just a random Monday, random Tuesday, whatever it might be on top of unlimited sick days on top of three weeks paid leave. We have all these national holidays where we have off as well. I was used to a lot of these benefits at my previous couple of jobs, but not until I landed my big boy jobs out of university working in an office making decent pay all that kind of stuff then i started to see some of these benefits come into play but before that if i had a job like this in america there's no chance i would have all these benefits and that brings me to what i think was the craziest benefit so far and that was during the summer we're working in our warehouse and it gets a little hot it gets a little toasty here in germany it gets up to wait for it the low 90s and we're working in our warehouse and all of a sudden word comes down from the top chief upstairs we're all going home we're gonna have the day off because it's too hot in the low 90s and that happened two or three times we had two or three days off or went home early two or three different days in the summer because it was too hot now it's... like i said i've worked in warehouses before in America, my mind. They would work us in well my mind. conditions in these giant warehouses with no airflow no air conditioning obviously it would be so hot and all they would do is maybe give us like a frozen popsicle every day or I remember one place gave us headbands and we were supposed to put these headbands in water and then put them around our head to stop us from falling over from heat exhaustion and then they sent us back to work in like 110 degree warehouses we never got no days off so little stuff like that about Germany makes it pretty cool to actually work here I definitely can't pretty complain cool. too much so and that's cool. one of the reasons why I have haven't landed a better more high paying job that fits more with my past experience and fits more with my education it's because the job that I have now which is bottom of the rung manual labor working in a warehouse for minimum pay it's really not that bad compared to America At which is all. So if you're thinking about moving to Germany or if you are already German and you happen to be watching this video just know Germany is not a fairy tale land where everything is great and perfect but it ain't too bad either and that's it i just wanted to share some thoughts with you guys about my time so far in germany if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos be sure my to back's up so. the links in the description for more content leave a like comment down below would you rather work in germany or would you rather work in america appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace with everything i've had I mean, with everything I've heard, you guys already know the take. You know my choice already. I don't need to spill it out. Like, God, this is so unreal. It feels like that guy is just coughing. Like, he's just whining. I want to know, guys. Is everything said in that video completely true? Or is just some fairy tales trying to stir up my need to come to Germany? Or is really true? Keep it coming in on my comment section. And until next time, do not forget to subscribe.